Tong takes first day Pfeiffer. Durham are back in the saddle after a week off from LV County Championship action. The pairs won the toss, and Worcestershire captain Joe Leach grabbed the new ball and decided to go on the hunt for wickets, and it wasn't long before he found some. Will Young out LBW early for just five. The captain couldn't do too much better. Borthwick out for four off the bowling of Morris, with Durham on the verge of breaching 50 runs. It was a difficult session for the hosts with misty skies and a slow wicket making batting difficult. But the sun burned through the haze as the morning became the afternoon, and the hosts found some more fluency, and they played their way towards 100. When they reached lunch, the score was 80 for 2. Morris had another after the break. Bedding him out, caught at slip for 24. Alex Lees wasn't about to fall so easily though. He and Jack Burnham gave Durham some much needed solidity. Their good work took them to three figures, and there would soon be more to shout about for the hosts. Lees had his 50. A quick single was enough to tick him over to the landmark, reached off 145 balls. Burnham wouldn't be able to emulate his partner. Tung found his pads and had him out to LBW for 23. Then he had Eckersley, the batsman a little unfortunate to play onto his own stumps. Just when it looked like Durham had found their feet, they were wobbling. Point to the next man to go, caught by vessels of the bowling of Barnard. All of a sudden, Lees was the last recognised batsman, but he took the score past 150 and kept going, with one eye fixed on the potential of 100. He'd fall one run short, caught behind for 99, his wicket signalled T with the score 183 for 7. Despite the loss of their opener, Durham counter-attacked their way to 200 runs, but it wasn't long before Tung had another, Ben Rain's leg stump removed for 8. Cass has proven himself to be a thorn in bowlers' sides down the order, and he stuck with Wood, the England bowler liable to pile on some late runs himself. They were an effective partnership and had the score edging towards 250, but that's where Wood went, bowled between bat and pad for Tung's fourth. And he had a deserved Pfeiffer in his next over, Rushworth stumps found, the tail ender bowled for a duck, and Tung had done most of the damage to Durham, who were all out for 246. He finished with 5 for 39, Durham held back by their visitors, and the door left the jar for Worcestershire to bat their way into a lead, after Alex Lees proved that there were runs on offer on this wicket. Bad light meant Worcestershire's reply could only get as far as 6 off the 3 overs possible, before play was brought to a close for the day.